Hello and welcome to a three-part series walkthrough of how to use web hosting on Alibaba Cloud. In part one, we will set up a package and domain. There are no prerequisites for using this video series, except to have an Alibaba Cloud account up and running and a payment method in place. By the end of this series, a new website with a newly registered domain name will be up and running, hosted on Alibaba Cloud. In part one, we will learn how to set up a package and create a domain. When we log into the control panel and go to www.alibabacloud.com slash product slash hosting, we can click on the Buy Now button to get started. Here, we see the options that are presented, which can be changed if required. The default options all make sense, so we click Buy Now again. There will be two more buttons, to place order and finally to pay. Once this is done, the new web hosting package is ready for the site to be created. Wait a few minutes for your hosting package to be set up, then log into the console, click on Home, expand the Domains and Websites section on the left-hand side of the screen, and click on Web Hosting. Details of the package that was just purchased will be shown, and there's a Manage link on the right-hand side that we can click in order to start setting things up. We can now see the status page for our hosting instance. In the FTP section, the FTP login name and the FTP login host address will be shown. These will be required to upload pages or files to the new site. We will also need an FTP password, so we can click on Reset Password in the FTP section and enter one. In the Instance Detail section, make a note of the test domain. This will allow us to look at the website before we have purchased a more friendly domain name. On the left-hand side of the screen, Click on Run Mode Settings and ensure that the Release Mode is set, rather than Debug Mode. For now, we don't need the extra levels of error reporting that Debug Mode provides, but it may be useful later. Close the console and open a web browser, then type in your test domain in order to see your new site as it currently exists. For security, Alibaba Cloud will require your login details, as the test domain is only for development use rather than public access. We can now use an FTP program to upload some files to the new site. We use the FTP server address, username, and password that were noted and created earlier. If you don't have an FTP program, download FileZilla, which is free. If the FTP program results in a message from your PC asking for your permission to change firewall settings, say yes. Similarly, there may be warnings from your browser about unknown or insecure certificates. Again, this can be safely ignored for now. The home page should be called default.html, index.html, zhuye.html, or index.php. There are two main folders in the website. All HTML files should be uploaded to htdocs. The My Folder area is not accessible via the web and can be used to store private documents related to the site if required. Replace the default.html file in htdocs with your own. Ensure it's in lower case. In this case, the warning about overwriting can be ignored, as we do indeed wish to overwrite the sample file with our own. Now we can use a browser to visit our website again, still via the test domain name, and we can see the new home page that was uploaded. If the old version is still shown, it may be necessary to hit Refresh or press F5 in the browser. Move on to Part 2 to learn about naming and paying for your domain. In Part 2, we will show how to name your domain and purchase it. Next, we need to register a suitable domain name for the new site, rather than using the test domain, which is neither user-friendly nor available to the public. From the console, under Domains and Websites on the left-hand side, choose Domains. For this video, we will buy a brand new domain name to accompany our new web hosting package. But if you want to move your existing web hosting plus domain name to Alibaba Cloud, then that's possible too, and will be covered in a separate video. Choose a domain name that best suits your needs. If no one else has already purchased it, you can. If it's taken, then the system will tell you, and you can choose something else. Your choice of domain name and extension is entirely up to you. So, for example, if yourcompany.com is already taken, then you could perhaps consider yourcompany.net or yourgreatcompany.com. 
For this example, we operate a shop called My Web Pages, so we will take a look to see whether my web pages.com has been taken. It hasn't, so we can click to add it to the cart. Now, to see the filled cart, we click on the shopping cart icon on the right hand side of the screen. We tick the item in the cart and choose how many years we want the domain name for. Note that you can't buy a domain name outright, you only rent it for a certain number of years. You then have to renew it. If you don't, someone else could register it instead. We now click on Buy Now to move to the next stage. Note the option to enable domain proxy service, which is free. This ensures that your own details will not appear on the publicly accessible register of people who register domains, and will thus help you avoid telemarketing calls from organizations wishing to sell you additional consultancy services. We haven't already created a domain registrant profile, so we are asked to do so before finalizing the order. This only needs to be done once. Now we can click on the Place Order button and confirm the charge on the next page in order that it will be billed to our credit card or PayPal account on file. Move on to Part 3 to learn how to configure your domain to your package. Welcome back. In Part 3, we will learn how to configure your domain to your chosen package. Although the domain name purchase is complete, it is not yet linked to our web hosting so there are a few more steps to complete. In the console, click on Home. Expand the Domains and Websites section on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on Web Hosting and locate your hosting package. Here, we click on the Manage link and then the Bind Now link. We need to enter the name of the domain we just purchased, complete with www at the start. We must remember the added www or the site will not function correctly. The final step is to configure DNS, which links the domain name to the web hosting package. We log into the console. Under Domains and Website on the left-hand side, we choose Web Hosting. We locate our hosting package in the list and click Manage. Copy the content of the test domain setting into your browser's clipboard. Return to the console homepage. Under Domains and Websites, choose Alibaba Cloud DNS. Find the domain name and click Configure. Click the Add Record button and then enter the details. Change the type to CNAME. Use www as the host. Leave the ISP line set to default. In the value entry, paste the test domain address that you copied earlier. We leave the TTL entry as it is. Then press Confirm. All that is left is to wait a minute or so for the changes to take effect. Then, try the website. Type your domain name into a browser, and the new home page will be displayed. Once everything works, we can then create some additional pages and upload them to the site using FTP. If we have a problem and the site doesn't behave as expected, there's a built-in health check feature that will look for common problems and show us how to solve this. Here, for example, we can see that the DNS has not yet been set correctly but it will tell us what happened and what to do to fix it. This concludes our three-part series on web hosting. Thanks for watching. Now go to www.alibabacloud.com slash product slash hosting and click Buy Now to set up your own web hosting on Alibaba Cloud. Mm -hmm.